everybody it's your girl again priscilla lady a warren and as always before i say a word thank you thank you thank you so much for watching the videos thank you so much for commenting on the videos and thank you thank you thank you for sharing the videos sharing is caring and i appreciate it i really do um but today i wanted to um to to just hop on really quick today is resurrection sunday and um, for those of you around the world who may not um, be able to understand the, the, the concept behind resurrection and why Christians all over the world celebrate, um, it is the season of, that we recognize the death, the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so understanding that Jesus actually is not just, Jesus just isn't for Christians. <laughs> novel idea how about that but jesus is for he's for people he is for everybody he's for the world and the things that he taught and the things that that he teaches through the bible and through his word and through his life it is actually things that regardless of where you are regardless of who you are it's principles and teachings that will bless anybody doesn't matter if you're white black rich poor jew gentile muslim buddhist it doesn't matter your history or your background or even who you are the teachings and principles of jesus christ will bless and empower anybody and that's what i love about god that's what i love about jesus you know, even though, you know, we have this, this religious group, you know, Christians who follow the teachings of Jesus, understand that Jesus is for everybody, okay? And understand that when it comes down to his death, his burial, and his resurrection, that as well is for everybody. If you are a human being on this planet, and I'm gonna assume that you are, that you ain't an alien, but you are a human being on planet Earth, if you are, then the same process that Jesus had to go through, we too have to endure the death, the burial, and the resurrection. It is a process. If you are ever going to receive and walk in the abundant life, if you're ever going to reach the place or do the thing that God has, has designed and purposed you to do here on planet Earth, then you must endure the same process. That you must identify the things that do not serve you. For years, you've probably said, my life just ain't working. Something is wrong. It ain't. It, things ain't coming together. My life is in the toilet. If you were like me, I was like, God, my life sucks. I don't know what's going on. But it wasn't until I began to identify the things in my life, identify the things in my mind, in my thinking, my thought process that did not serve and honor the promises of God. When I identified those thoughts that were beneath the promise of God, when I identified the thoughts that were literally killing me, they were killing me. Um, thoughts like, you know, food is, is comfort food. So when I get down and when I get depressed, I'm just gonna eat. And I'm gonna eat my way to happy, okay? I'm gonna eat my way to feeling better. That thought, I began to live my life by that thought. And when I did that, I began to, one, put on tons of weight. I was unhealthy. Um, my glucose levels were through the roof. My, I was borderline diabetic. My blood pressure was, was, was rising. And so any thought that you accept and you begin to live your life by, that is not, that does not produce the promise of God in your life, See, because the promise of God is long life. The promise of God is health. The promise of God is blessings. And anything that you receive into your life, into your mind, and you begin to, to, to live your life by it, if it does not produce the promise of God in your life, then it is a thought that derived from your flesh or from, from the enemy. It is not of God. And so with that, identifying what does not serve you and then crucifying that thought executing that thought and then doing away with it burying it so that you can then resurrect and be risen with a new mind with a new life with with new power to be able to do and be all 
that God has designed you to be. So again, to understand Jesus is to understand that one, he is for all men and that there are processes and, and teachings that the things that he taught and the things that he endured, that those are teachings for all men because until every man understands that you have to one, die, two, bury, three, resurrect, you will never start walking in the abundant life that has been designed for you so with that when you begin to align your thoughts and you begin to align your life with that thing that is that is equal to what god has promised when you begin to align your life and your thoughts to that which god has promised he can't help but you it's like you become a magnet if, if it's like the blessings of god begin to to run behind you it's like the blessings of god begin to chase after you it's like the blessings of god begin to pursue you rather than you pursuing it when you when you transform your mind when you go through the process of the death the burial and the resurrection the blessings become to move swiftly towards you why because you have aligned yourself with the promise you've gone through the process and now you can receive the promise believe that there is a blessing there is a blessing there is no way you can transform your mind there is no way that you can go through the process and not receive the promise come on now there is a process and there is a promise so on this morning as we celebrate resurrection understand for every man if you're breathing and you're living on this planet understand identify what's in your mind and what's in your life that does not serve you execute it get rid of it and when you get rid of it bury it push it away so it doesn't come back anymore and three resurrect rise with a new you with a new mindset with a new understanding that that which god has given me down on the inside of me i now have the ability to be and do all that he's called me to do so with that i pray that you have an awesome awesome day peace and blessings as always until next time peace We will get stronger